the tank. Onyeka. Shara is onside. And a possibility for him here. Conser concedes the penalty. Well, Brentford with a golden opportunity here. Does a really good job here because it's a penalty. You can see just at the end here, gets his body across. Brilliant forward play. Brilliant forward play. It's a penalty. Just knows there he leans into Konsa. Knows that there's going to be contact and goes down. You can see that coming. It's really, really good from the striker to get his body across there. He's in complete control of the ball. Burrow's left foot. Produces the goods for Brentford. And for the first time in this summer series, they lead a match. Yeah, and, and, and clinical it was. Just a little bit of a pause. Sent the goalkeeper the wrong way. Dispatched it into the other corner. Here's another look at the tackle. Konsa, if I'm being brutally honest, he's always going to be second best. He probably knows better. And you see there, sends the goalkeeper Martinez the wrong way, and Bumo just slots it in. It's a really good look at it. All preseason, I think Mbumo has really had the bit between his teeth. He played well. He's probably been unlucky to be, not be amongst more goals. So it's good for him to get on the score sheet. Silver able to take it in. Take on Torres! Oh, and score! An absolute cracker! Well, Brentford were on the receiving end of a contender for goal of the tournament from Harry Wilson, but De Silva at the very least rivaling it there. This is the one, and you can see it, Dan. Perfect touch. Once the overlap comes, he's able to skip inside, and we had, a, we had the best angle of it of anybody in the stadium. It was just picture perfect. He skips in on that left foot. You can see the bend, and Emmy Martinez, I'll tell you what, he's a good goalkeeper, very long, gets a good push. He's nowhere near that. That's really good wide play from De Silva, and just have a look at that ball nestle into the side netting. Some pace there, absolutely brilliant. Hit so well, even the net couldn't handle it. <laughs> and Thomas Frank. This is Ethan Pitt. And Villa have to be careful, be patient, because they're not going to get back in the game straight away. And the more they chase, the tougher it's going to be for them, so they have to know that their goal will come. But it's just a matter of being patient, and probing, because if they run too far out of shape and it goes 3-0, it's, it's tough and difficult. And this is a way to change the picture. Terrific run by Esri Gonsa! Oh, would you believe it? Well, Brentford feeling the sting of the former B. A quite tremendous run from the central defender. <laughs> what a finish at the end of yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, to intercept the ball there. Listen, this is one way to get back in the game. Good on him to take, take the charge, rides two tackles, and now Brentford on the back foot. It's a really cool finish, I must say, from the center half. See the ball there, just bouncing, clever side foot past the goalkeeper. We, we don't often see that, <laughs> Damn, a center back on the edge of his box, winning the ball, and then gliding up the pitch like a gazelle and finishing like a striker. That was really impressive, but again, it, Talk about impetus, it puts Villa back on the front foot, and now they feel like, so what, we're down 2-1, we're back in the game, here we go. Yabi dare not let him inside, that's why! He got exactly what he wanted, a chance to shoot with that lethal left foot. Two games in a Villa shirt, two goals. Well, less than... Two halves of, ga of games. I mean, Daniel, they're making us look good because this is this is what they're showing us and this is what you're seeing. The goalkeeper's a bit unsighted there, but you know what? When Diaby or any striker in the Premier League comes inside on a strong foot that close, it's going to be difficult. There's a lot of bodies. You'll see it here. Just goes through Ben Mee's legs, underneath Flecken, and it's a goal. But that was coming. That was coming. We talked about it. The goal, the goal from Kansa, the corner kicks, the possession, pinning Brentford back. And it doesn't, it matters to these teams we talked about in the pregame. They've come, they work really, really hard. And now they're in a position to win. Absolutely they want to win. McGinn in. They've got cash in. 
And there we go. How about that for a turnaround? The game totally changing after the cooling break. And Matty Cash cashes in in almost the blink of an eye. Villa have turned a two-goal deficit into a lead. Well, sadly for Brentford, once McGinn gets the ball here, they're in trouble. They have to narrow up to get to Ollie Watkins. And then Matty Cash coolly gets it back onto his left foot. And I mentioned I've been in that position before. Once, once a striker gets inside the box, or any player gets inside the box in that position and opens up his angle, it's going to be very, very tough for the goalkeeper. Lewis Potter turning inside! And he is so unlucky, Wissa! And finally in by Baptiste! And it's Brentford's turn to come running down the comeback trail. <laughs> Take nothing away from Baptiste there, but wow, wow, what a strike. I mean, Lewis Potter comes inside, he knows what he wants to do. He know, and that wasn't curled, by the way. Baptiste there, really good fortune. You see here, that's hit. That's hit with the laces. You can see it move and beat. I mean, Martinez and then. Baptiste there, not going to miss. Wow, just so clean. You see how he hit it with the laces? There's absolutely zero movement on the ball. Emmy Martinez can only watch it. Baptiste does really well to make sure he sticks it in the back of the net to level the game. Well, a thrilling ride. Brentford coming back in the second half with that equaliser from Shandon Baptiste to salvage a draw. It means there is no winner here, but a winner-takes-all battle follows between Chelsea and Fulham to decide who will take the Summer Series title. It's still a possibility for Unai Emery and Villa after a match which finished here. Aston Villa 3, Brentford 3.